good evening it is Wednesday is it Wednesday yes it is Wednesday and storm Dudley has hit us I'm guessing but the tide has just come back in and it is the windiest I've ever heard it here at the marina um, these winds aren't going to calm down I think till tomorrow morning and even then they're still quite strong winds but we are definitely moving around so I'm not looking forward to Friday it's about 20 knots at the moment it feels a lot more than 20 knots but no it's not bad it's, it's, it's all right until the gusts come it's the gusts of wind but the noise out there is uh Quite something. We're in for a pretty noisy, rough night. The A frame is still standing for the minute. So we shall see how tonight goes. <laughs> the swamps are just going past. <laughs> Ones. Right, so it's Thursday morning. We made it through we, Storm Dudley. We survived Dudley. <laughs> uh, the holes in the uh, A frame, don't know if you can see up there, uh, are getting bigger. Only slight. I'd like to call them an extra skylight. But as you can see this morning, yet again, it is a lovely day blue skies it is the calm before the next storm so yes we made it through storm dudley at least still very windy but as i said a lovely day just in time for storm newness but it's daytime today the risk of some significant, really quite significant wind speeds associated with Storm Eunice. Now we're still a couple of days away and the depth and the track of Eunice is critical in terms of exactly how strong these wind speeds will be. I wouldn't take this map too literally at this stage, but it does represent the most likely track of Eunice considered at the moment. And that would bring widely within the amber warning area inland gusts of 60 to 70 miles an hour, 80 miles an hour for some exposed spots inland. But around the coast of West Wales, the Bristol Channel and South West England, the risk of 90 to even possibly as high as 100 mile per hour wind gusts. Quite severe weather associated with Storm Eunice, even more severe than Storm Dudley. And this is on Friday morning, especially for south and southwestern parts of the UK. Disruptive winds widely, risk of damaging gusts and dangerous conditions, especially around coasts with some very large waves and really quite uh, hazardous conditions if you are near any coast. Right, so it is Thursday evening and Storm Eunice is due to hit tomorrow morning. And it is as calm as anything. Not a breath of wind nothing it's so quiet and so still so i'm guessing as they say it's definitely the calm before the storm so we're now leaving for work. Hopefully, over there 
in the distance Kalmara will make it through this storm without any damage so it's Friday 11 a.m. and we've got some live mast cam footage the wind speeds are picked up to around 85 to 90 miles an hour I was just glad that we had the camera we kept checking throughout the afternoon to make sure the boat was okay if you don't wish to hear the wind noise turn your volume down now Right, so we're back at the boat and it appears that she made it! <laughs> and would you believe it? The tire pulling is still up. How amazing is that? Oh, that's Jace, my engineering for you, that is. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, we've just got one new hole where we built in the uh, outrigger, bits. outrigger bits there. It looks a little bit windblown, but that's only to be expected. Bit of wood up there, that's very bowed. <laughs> but no, it's still standing. Oh, the top bit of wood's blown off. Where's that gone? It's there, right in front of you. Oh, you might have to go out and put that in. Yeah, we will do. Because we get a collection of rain. Um, but yes everything appears to be fine ship shape. ship shape thank the lord we made it through storm eunice oh hang on look i'll go and say that and now he's opening the after cabin is it all right in there yeah check the bathroom just in case all the tiles are falling off <laughs> Oh my god. What? Nothing. Oh god, you're sad. <laughs> so we made it. Oh, my toothbrush has fallen over. Oh no. All the lamp has moved actually. Thank goodness all the uh, alcohol stayed in place. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, thank the Lord that the boat is okay. So we've just got to get through tonight because it's still windy, but hopefully the winds are dying down. I think it's going to be windy again pretty much the whole weekend and then Monday there's some high winds but nothing like what we've had today so fingers crossed if it could just stop now with the wind and the rain it's time for spring and summer to get here don't you agree Jay? It certainly is so Jason's just popped out sorry to give the windows a while we've got a bit of condensation but I think it's a lot of dust that's blowing around out there he's just putting back up the bit of wood checking that it hasn't damaged the hatch but i have to say i am still amazed that this a-frame is standing It's quite an engineering feat that that has survived probably 80 to 90 miles an hour winds. We've got a few more holes, but I'm just thankful that there's no damage to the boat. But as you can see, we're still tides out. So we're, we've got a little bit of protection because we're lower down in the marina. But we uh, are still gusting pretty bad here. So, update. It's 
windy. <laughs> Does it still all feel sturdy? Yeah, it looks all fine. No problem at all. It's, uh, I can't guarantee it'll stay like that forever, but... Well, no, we are, well, we're hoping not to have it there forever, but if we can just keep it standing until we've done the front deck, that would be nice. But yeah, so far, until tomorrow in the daylight, we can't really go around and have a proper look, but there's not really. Well, no, I had a quick look up on the back deck. All that back cover's still on fine, so. Good. Right, so we're off now to have dinner. Mm. Good morning, it is Saturday and we've already been up and done some bits and pieces. We've done the compost toilet run, well I've done the compost toilet run, I've filled the water tanks, Jason's taken the dog for a walk and now, well we've also had a look around the boat, there wasn't much damage was there, there was, well, there was nothing, <coughs> nothing. nothing at all, we lost a a fender which was up on the side well, it's, it's just rolled off yeah it's rolled off on. <laughs> uh, one of our cleats we found in the mud but that wasn't connected it was just on on the deck but it had obviously blown off into the mud so that was all good so now we're about to start back on the aft cabin what is the plan jason just searching for a king size mattress size so I can work out where the bed's gonna go and then board out this side so we can make a bed frame. So that means a trip up to the storage then, bringing down some ply. Eight by four sheets of ply, yeah. In the wind. Yeah. Looking forward to that. Right, we best crack on them. Right, so Jason has just kind of measured out where the bed is going to go. So we're going to have a king size and we're not going to, we're going to have a full king size. So if you can see, if Jason, you can point it out. Yeah, so that would be the head of the bed and it'll come out to there and along that wall there. Um, it's going to be a little bit higher than that because it's got to clear that uh, what's it called? rudder post there and then you have the mattress on top. So it's going to be somewhere up in there, that green line there, top of the mattress. Should come up to probably about there, so it's going to be quite high at that end. So but that is full mattress without cutting it to a shape or anything. So the width, the corner of the bed will come out down here, down there, yeah. and then this side we're going to put um, like a I can't think what it's called now. Oh, you've got like a, like a vanity unit type L shape. Yeah, tabletop that table. goes in an L shape in that corner. And then we'll have some cupboards, but we're trying to make sure there's plenty of air. Um, I can't think of any words this morning. Air, <laughs> air. Airflow. Airflow, that's it. Um, yeah, it should be all fine. So now it's insulated, it's like a solid insulated box. So and damp it should stay on the other side of it and run down behind and I'll probably insulate the floor as well so any dampness should be outside of the living space I mean we know living on a boat you're never gonna especially with a boat <laughs> yeah you're never gonna 100% avoid damp but um, we're Air not flow and things like that will greatly reduce it and not having... And also we said we'd probably get another couple of those dehumidifiers. Yeah. Because um, they're pretty good on energy and they're small. But obviously we've got a lot of windows in here, so 
Ooh. We're not people who don't like a window open, but obviously when it's like the weather like we've had. It's under a mile an hour wind. Yeah. Yeah. Probably keep closed. <laughs> yeah. And then obviously we've got the hatch, which we're going to do something with. So, but yes, that's where it's going to go. I am interested to see how this all works out because as usual, Jason tells me and I'll go, hmm? Because I just can't visualise any of it. All I see is still the big TV sat at the back and the blue cushions with the <laughs> uh, with the chairs. But um, no, I'm sure it will look lovely when it's done. So we best get up to the storage before it rains and uh, try and get these... Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna. Don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet. I don't know whether to mock up all the bed frame first and then work the sides around the bed frame because oh. I'm gonna want to be able to. I don't want to run a full bit of ply behind the bed, and then if I need to get behind it, take all the bed apart to get that bit of ply off. Wow. So I think I'm gonna ball down to the bed. Yeah. And then board from the bed down in another piece. Right. So if I have to get behind it for any reason, I can just take the top bit off. So right. I've just got to work out what height the bed's going to be and maybe make the bed frame first and then open <laughs> there. Where exactly is going to put the bed frame as it is at the minute? Oh, I do not know. Well, it's going to go there, isn't it? Yeah, but you can't <laughs> work in that small space. That's small space. That's small space. Yeah, because there isn't any yeah, space that's there. Right, because I can work in here at the moment. Right. And then when I need to work out there, I can put that stuff in here. My next question is, how is this bed base yes. going to uh, stand? How How's this? Uh, well, it'll be fixed along that wall because that wall should be the end of the bed. Yeah. So we get to here. So it will come along that wall. Um, it will probably have a post that sits on the corner. And then I haven't really figured the rest of it out yet. Because we're not very lightweight. Oh, it's going to be strong. Yes. It's definitely going to be strong. Um, but it will be fixed in. But removable at the same time. Well, I'll Everything's got to be removed. I look forward to seeing this creation. Me too. As everyone else does on uh, YouTube. Right, mm. I'll, I'll let you uh, crack on with what you're doing then. Thanks. So clearly spring and summer is a long way off and the wind is back. And it's raining. So I think the chances of us today getting up to the storage to bring down eight by four sheets of ply is pretty remote. We're just coming up to high tide and there've been some pretty high tides. It was yesterday, it was 6.66 .66 meters which is a really high tide. Um, but yeah, it's horrible out there today. It's dry on my window this side, but that side, it is horrible. So yeah, I think the uh, vision of going up to the storage to get the eight by four ply is not happening today. I just minute just minished just i can't i can't think of words today i can't speak i've just missed jason limboing underneath his bed frame and he's just announced that he needs to go up to storage to get a piece of wood yeah. 
I feel that he'll be on his own for this one because it is horrible. Oh my goodness me. Even the old swans are battling against the elements today out there. I can't really see them. They're just like a, a dot of white. There they are. <laughs> so the weather has not improved. Not improved at all. Mother Nature is not being very kind to us. There's the swans battling. Mind you, they look like they're having a whale of a time, to be honest. But yeah, it's grim. Oh, I thought I'd just come out and get a couple of bits of wood. Oh, it's pretty nice out here today. It is proper nasty. Oh, you can hide around the back of these containers, it's not quite so bad, but it's horrible out here, horrible, horrible, proper horrible. Shopping, a bit of swell. All right, so we made it back from what the storm that was today we had. Who knows? Um, he managed to get back down with his bit of wood. One off. One off. We didn't attempt the uh, eight by four sheets. Mm, a little ambitious. So the weather has put pay to a lot today, really. But he has brought the leg. Is it the leg? The leg of the bed. The leg of our old bed <coughs> and has cut it. Yeah, I've cut the top off, so this bit should sit on there like that. Ooh, let me just zoom in a little bit. I can't get fully down here because there's just too much stuff. Oh, yes. That should sit in there. Ooh, we're rocking around. And then the other one should sit across. It's not going to be that high. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm going to need a ladder to get into bed. But no, it saves us buying hardwood. But yes, yeah, so we've not. It's been difficult today because of the weather, hasn't it? It's not been the ideal day. No. But uh, lots of measuring, lots of planning it out. Yeah, spent more time planning than doing here. So that's a nice solid bit of hardwood. It is. I'd say that bed was worth more in bits than it was as a bed. Yeah. But since I only paid fifty pounds for it about ten years ago, and I hated the bed. Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! But yeah, the weather has stopped us in our tracks again, and it's meant to be the same tomorrow and Monday, as I said earlier. So, hmm. dodging drips, dodging the wind, dodging the rain. That sums it up. I have cut the hole in the floor for the bed leg to sit in. Wow. <laughs> he was going to sit it down on the... A uh, kill. But I've just, I've decided that if it sits down on the kill, it's, it could get damp. So I'm just going to sit it on the bits of wood, which I think they're called floors, possibly not. 
don't know what they're called. But they sit on the bit of wood that sits on the keel. Uh, so that'll give it plenty of strength and keep it away from any damp. So he's come on leaps and bounds. This is just obviously a mock-up, but it's half a bed. Uh, so there we go. Cut it into shape. So our mattress sit on top of there, so it's not too high. I'll come down a bit so we can get an idea of the uh, level. Oh, oh yeah, I mean, it's pretty normal. Really, it's not really... Yeah, it's not as high. How are you going to fix the end of that? Don't ask me silly things like that. <laughs> I've got to make like a, a box head bed in frame type mm. headboard thing. So once I've got all the angles and it's all in the right place because it's got to come down a bit further at the back here. Mm -hmm. So I've got to cut a section out of there mm -hmm. to fit down over there. Um, <laughs> I'll come to that part later. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, the beginning of a bed frame. Welcome back. It is Sunday morning and we're now battling another storm. This one has been named Storm Franklin. Not as high winds as Eunice, but still 50 to 70 mile an hour gusts, which is already gusting quite bad, but I think this afternoon is going to be the worst of it. And it's going to it's going to continue into Monday. So yet again, it has... I can't talk, I can't even think of my words again. It's going to create havoc with today's work. Yes, that's exactly what I was trying to say. Luckily, I'm a good mind reader. Yeah. So... What's... <laughs> <laughs> I just need to uh, leave you to it, Jace. Right? Yeah. Cut. Cut. You can't go any. You can't say anything else. Still. Tell everyone <laughs> what you're doing today, apart from hitting your head. Uh, a lot of hitting my head. Maybe a little bit of swearing. Well, let's hope not. But I'm trying to carry on with the bed frame. Just cutting around the um, thingy. <laughs> We're doing well today. No, I can't remember it. Rudder post and all the... Well, not cutting the rudder no, post. No, cutting around. Cutting around it, yeah. yeah. Oh, did you? Yes, oh, yeah. We're, we're doing well. As bad as yeah, we're doing well for a Sunday morning. Um, but yeah, it's it's such a pain because we could have brought all the ply down if it hadn't been windy. We could have balled it out what we needed to have balled it out. But we can't. Because we can't. <laughs> um, it requires lots of trips up and down. and oh, it's, it's too dangerous trying to yeah. bring all the... We've already seen down. a whole sheet of ply up the top which someone's obviously tried to bring down and it's not worked. So yes, the bed frame continues. So Jason's getting his carpentry skills on, but he's feeling a little seasick as we are at high tide and the winds have picked up again. And uh, yeah, it's quite a bit of movement in the back here. See if I can zoom in. It's so difficult to pick it up on camera. You can just about see it. But we're rocking back and forth. Back and forth. Woo! It's pretty choppy out there. 
I think, actually, obviously we wasn't here in Storm Eunice, thank goodness. But I think that's possibly the choppiest I've seen the water out there. You should just go and have a look out on the, um, on the main river. I mean, there's proper like white tops of waves. Ooh. How's your carpentry going? Up down. <laughs> <laughs> Trouble is you can feel it underneath as well, can't you? The waves underneath the boat. Yeah, I think being so low down here, I mean, I'm sitting sort of right at water level, low below water level, and I'm just... <laughs> You're riding the waves. Oh well, yeah, I'm trying to concentrate. I was like right in front of me, and it's supposed to be like using your phone, isn't it? <sighs> <laughs> yeah. So this weekend has been hampered by the weather. Again. Again.